So welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be doing some sawmilling. Friday morning and we're back up at the at the White House. Did you like my clickbait title Eric? I loved it. We got the uh, we're gonna uh, cut up the rest of these logs. So we've got uh, these decked up over here We've got another pretty good size one up over there and we're gonna do a couple things We're gonna be cutting some uh, dimensional lumber for you and maybe a kind of a live edge table if we can work it out So we've got what well, we we actually put our thinking caps on and we brought our trailer over here because we were offloading so Eric's going to be doing the offloading. Maybe uh, if you want to, you run the mill, we'll take turns. Okay. Um, so we've got a dimensional lumber we were stacking up over there, and then we're going to have to move it twice. So we're going to, we put the trailer here. We'll put that on there. We'll put the waste there for the firewood, and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, we're not going to run into any snags. Okay, so we've got our cut sheet here. So we've cut, if you're just joining us, we've cut, uh, we fell, uh, was it four trees? Four trees. Four trees uh, that were um, uh, sick. Um, and we have uh, eights, twelves, and we've got w one's a, a sixteen, I think. So we're trying to get the best lumber, or the most lumber out of it, usable lumber as we can. So I've got a cut sheet here, um, and so for the twelves, Eric, we need two by twelve, so twelve footers, uh, four by four by eights. So this is not a tutorial exactly how to do it. We are, uh, we're, we're learning on the job here. I don't have a lot of experience with this, but uh, we'll muddle through it. So this is uh, kind of where we started. This is a beautiful saw log. We got a big dug fir here. And as I said, we're gonna try to cut some, uh, was it two by eights, which is two by, or inch and a half by seven and a quarter. You got it. Yeah, for, for why that is, I don't know. Uh, so you have to smart, start at the smaller end of the log. So that's here and you can only get, you have to look, you know, picture that as a cylinder as it goes all the way through. It doesn't really matter how big the other end is because you can only get as much as you can get off of this end. So what we did here is we, we got a flat spot here to try to kind of see what we could do. Um, what I think we'll do here, Eric, is let's come down here another half inch. And then I think we could probably get a two by four, two by six, and then we'll see if we can get our two by eights out of there. Nice thick half inch, huh? Yeah, I can see the whole line. Okay. So uh, the winch is here, if you haven't seen how the Lucas works, the winch is here, uh, raise, raise and lower the carriage. So we wanted to drop that a half inch. So we've got this simple gauge system here. So I'll just drop that down. You said a, a heavy half? You got it. All right, and then we'll recut and see if we can get a two by out of there. Can't get a two by eight. Okay. I think we can. That's seven and a quarter. Seven and a half. Go fat quarter there. Okay.
So this was our first board of the day. How's our thickness here? Spot on, inch and a half. Inch and a half, and we're seven and a quarter for a two by eight. Right now we're seven and three eighths on this one. Okay, so I come back a little bit and then. Maybe, this is one sixteenth over, seven and five sixteenths. Boy, oh, that's a beautiful board. It's looking great. One of the cool things about this mill uh, that I'm starting to realize is that you can, you, you're so flexible. Like we were cutting four by sixes, right? Yes. And we cut to the end and we, and we have, you know, normally we cut our two by fours horizontally, yep. uh, but all we have to do is, you know, it's easy to get a two by four out of there and we just cut it uh, the other direction. So I mean, it's just uh, When we had this much to work with here. Y right. You know, just a little bit left. We had two two by six, four by sixes. We had enough to just take one more two by four, but because it could be vertical. What's cool, is, yeah, it's so flexible is that you can you can twist and cut. You can cut them any way you want to out of here. Um, that's something that's just not quite as easy to do with a bandsaw mill. So Eric had an idea here. What's your idea? All right. The thought was to take this beautiful piece of wood and not let it go to waste. We've got a flat piece on top. We can't get a lot more dimensional lumber out of it. So we're thinking we flip it over, we flatten the underside, and then we've got the makings of a double live edge tabletop. Nice little guy. Just waiting to get out 